Uh, no. I'm not ready to declutter my cool Viking hat just yet. Never mind that it never seems to get cold enough to wear it in San Francisco. Uh, it reminds me of my big trip to the UK, and I love it. What I am going to declutter, though, is this coffee mug from that UK trip. I thought that my son would like it, and I thought he would use it a lot, because he used to use the mug uh, from our Iceland trip all the time. But guess what? He bought some YouTube show coffee mug that he really likes, and he uses that one almost exclusively. And he's not alone like that. I used my big New Zealand mug almost exclusively. The truth of the matter is most people have their favorite go-to coffee mug that they use all the time. The only time I don't use my big New Zealand coffee mug is if I left it in another room and I'm too lazy to go and grab it. So, goodbye York mug. We barely knew ya. I'm pretty good at keeping my mugs decluttered, so I don't have like 30 of them. But I do have two more that I'll declutter today. First, here is my e-mug. This is supposedly a magical energy mug that changes the vibration of any food or liquid that you put inside of it so that it becomes instantly positively charged and uh, healthy. Um, I'm ashamed to say that I paid too much money for this thing probably 20 years ago and I've stubbornly held on to it despite the fact that I think it's bullshit. I used to use it a lot, and I can't say that those were my healthiest days. Not by a long shot. So, the third cup to go bye-bye today is this perfectly fine generic cup. I think it came inside of a gift basket that a patient gave me a few years ago. Uh, I didn't want to throw it away because it was a gift, and it's a perfectly good mug. But guess what? Nobody uses this cup. It just sits there and takes up space. So, bye-bye cups. Oh.